This is Danny with AP Safety Training. In recognition of Ladder Safety Month, I'd like to share a few observations about ladder safety that I've made. In the course of our work, we have occasion to visit a variety of job sites and organizations for the purpose of creating site-specific training programs. As you can imagine, fall prevention and ladder safety is always a training topic we're asked to include. But almost without fail, when we begin filming real workers using ladders, they do not use three points of contact when climbing. It turns out they just really don't know what it means. The default climbing technique is simply to move a hand and a foot simultaneously. This is how we walk, this is how we climb stairs, and this is how even a safety-minded individual will naturally climb a ladder. And as safety professionals, if we look the other way or fail to correct it, it's a slippery slope from there to climbing ladders while carrying hand tools or climbing ladders while hauling supplies up and down, which we all know is a big safety no-no. Using three-point contact means having both hands firmly in place before lifting either foot, and then having both feet firmly in place before releasing either hand. It creates an awkward staccato movement while climbing. And like most safety practices we seek to implement, climbing this way is not something a worker will naturally do, unless it becomes a habit through training practice and positive reinforcement. When done correctly, climbing with three-point contact makes it impossible to carry items in your hands. So that puts the burden back on us to provide our workers with the resources that they need to overcome the challenge. Using tool belts or hand lines to haul tools up and down a ladder is one option. Of course, a better option may be to not even use a ladder at all. Elevated work that requires a variety of tools, equipment, or movement is better suited to be performed from a mobile elevated work platform or a scaffold, both of which bring their own safety and training challenges. So, if ladder safety and fall prevention is one of your spotlight training topics this month, consider revisiting three-point contact with some hands-on training and make it a point to look out for and reinforce this on your job sites. Keep them safe out there. Never stop training.